Um, today I'm going to talk about pearls. Um, I love organic gemstones. Organic gemstones are going to be anything that was created in nature that's not a crystal, right? So pearls qualify um, amber, wood, um, coral. And the great thing about organic gemstones is that they're very much to be worn every day in most circumstances, but definitely they're meant to be casual. Pearls are special. Pearls can be dressed up or down, et cetera, et cetera. And they have a whole legacy and a whole life and they're renowned in history and all the things. Having said that, right now we're having a little pearl renaissance in particular with bracelets. So I wanted to show you, this is like the most basic kind of pearl bracelet. Do you see it? It's just like a traditional Akoya, which is a Japanese pearl strand. It has a little fish clasp right here. Um, not the easiest thing to put off and on, to take off and on, to be honest, but like a really classic piece. I'm wearing another one on this wrist that I love with little chain links in between. It reminds me of one that, um, I grew up with my mom having and one of my best friends Kim wears one like this too. Okay so you have these and then if you maybe you want to take it up a notch. So I wanted to show you this. This is all freshwater pearls and it's a torsade and it has this really cool gold buckle. What is a torsade? A torsade is multi-strand. This is a black pearl version with the foo dog. Could that be any cooler? But the deal with the torsade is that if you just let it hang like that, it looks messy. But if you twist it, oh, isn't that pretty? So with the torsade, you twist it before you put it on. So I twisted this one and I put it on. And even though it's big, it's super soft. Like you can lay it flat on the counter when you're typing on your computer. It doesn't get in the way, It's but it's really pretty. Um, then I have this one. We're getting a little crazier here. It has South Sea pearls, but these South Sea pearls are Baroque. Aren't they pretty? And then there's little links, little diamonds in the links, and these are um, sapphire pebbles. So this is a very organic looking bracelet that has a lot of value, but it doesn't look dressy because it's not so precise. Um, it's more of a unstructured, kind of a looser design, more hippy dippy, I think. Um, then I have this one with South Sea pearls that are very round and very crisp with these this really pretty open work yellow gold link. And then I have this, this is, I love this bangle. So it's actually a cuff, it opens in the back, it's stretchy, and it's all white gold with diamonds and little Akoya pearls, and it makes like a lattice, it's really pretty. And then I have this one too that's stretchy. Let's just fling these off and on, shall we? With yellow gold with, it doesn't have um, plastic underneath, this is metal, with a Tahitian pearl with little diamonds. So this is also something you could just flip on really easily you know I love the gold. So that's really cool. And then the last thing I was gonna show you is the really traditional mid-century Grace Kelly kind of a time period that a woman with means would have a bracelet like this. It's a multi-strand, and the lights come on, with diamonds and pearls in the clasp. And this is very, I would say, dressy. And also it has to fit just right. You would actually string it so that it fits your wrist just right so that the plaque would stay up. Um, because underneath it gets a little uncomfortable and that's not the purpose. The purpose is to be dressed up, but you could find a more modern version of this where this is all woven. It's not different, two, three, you know, it's not like this. It's actually woven like a quilt or like, I don't know, something woven. Cut me, cut me on some slack. <laughs> but it's super soft, a different um, size of pearls that makes this beautiful pattern. And then it has this really handy dandy clip to put it all together. But this is much more 2020-ish than this. This is 1950s.